Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Andy's frozen custard. I have the hot fudge brownie. And a chocolate chip cookie dough. These were $5.49 each at Andy's frozen custard. So uh, what you do is uh, you go, it looks like a fast food restaurant from the 50s or something, but there's, you don't go inside. You order outside and- um, Or drive-thru. Or drive-thru, yes, they do have a drive-thru, but they, they all they do is frozen custard, I mm -hmm. think, don't they? Yeah, I don't, they don't have food. And uh, you can get, they have all kinds of flavors, but there's only certain flavors that come in these pints. The, and the take home size or the, whatever. Yes, so we got what we could and we've been reviewing them. So hot fudge brownie, this, these containers are very, they have really filled them. Yeah, and they tend to like be around the edges. Yeah, we're like drip, we're, they drip and yeah, we're dripping here. They make a little bit of a mess. Yeah. So. So don't open them in your car. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, if you're gonna be eating it in the car, you then may, you're gonna get a cone. Or you may as well get a cone. Yeah. Or a bowl or whatever. Yeah. Like any flavor you like. Yeah, and they do have smaller sizes. They do have half pints. Um, but those are very limited in size and flavors too. Yes. So, and we have reviewed what you get in those. Yeah, I it's. I don't know if I can hold. I'll, well, I'll hold it up a little bit. If it drips, it drips. Uh -huh. yeah. There we go. Okay. So what is this? I believe it's hot fudge brownie. No. No. I like their chocolate flavor. It kind of reminds me, at least the first bite too, kind of reminds me when you got a hot fudge sauce from the grocery store and pour it over vanilla ice cream. That's what it reminds me of. When I was a kid, was good. and we would go to Frisch's, anytime we would go to Frisch's, it's not like we went all the time, but when we would go, I would always order a hot fudge sundae because I liked that thick fudge um, sauce, sauce. <laughs> and um, it's a very particular flavor mm -hmm. chocolate, and it's a very different texture because it's it um, it's thick, and uh, that fudge in that when you get a chunk of that fudge, mm -hmm. that's exactly what it tastes like. Mine, once I got down into it, there's a nice swirl mm -hmm. of that fudge, and there's a little. It almost tastes like they have chocolate flakes in there. Mm-hmm. Because I got a couple, couple pieces that were yeah, like there crunchy. are there are yeah. yeah. I didn't get a lot of them, but I got just one or two here and there that were crunchy. I didn't really get brownie necessarily. Did you find I got some chewing just, just now. Yeah, I didn't yeah. in the two or three bites I took. I mean, there, there might be some in there, I just didn't get one. Yeah, um, I, I got the, um, the uh, it's more like a, a dense, uh, because they're, it's a very small pieces of brownie. They didn't put chunks in there. So when you get it's not it- not like cookie dough balls or anything. No, mm -hmm. when you get it, it's so small that, um, it's much smaller than a cookie dough ball, mm -hmm. uh, but it is dense. I do like the flavor. And if you get, just get a general spoon out of here and taste it, it tastes like the fudge of a hot fudge. Yeah, that's what, that's that's what the it tastes like. Flavor. So they did a good job with that. Yeah, it's very good. I would eat that up. <laughs> uh, so this one is the chocolate chip cookie dough and it looks to be just as melty. <laughs> Messy, oh wow. Okay. Well, these you, you have to leave them out because once they're in the freezer, they get rock hard. I mean, just as hard as a brick. So you can't scoop them. Right. So you either have to sit them out for about 20 minutes or you have to microwave them for a little bit. Either way, they get melty. So okay, there you go. There is, I don't think I can pick that one up. I can try them. I don't have anything dripping. Okay. Like you said, if you drip, you can always. This one really doesn't have much. To no, drip. there's not much to show. This chocolate. There's a couple little bits in there. I'm hoping I'll get some cookie dough. I wonder if this is, does it say CC? Yeah, CCCD. So it's literally chocolate, chocolate chip, probably. Mm. Very rich chocolate. Mm. 
It's a really nice chocolate ice cream. It's almost uh, it's almost dark, but not quite. Did you get a bunch of crispy pieces? Yeah, it's, I think it's those chocolate chip flakes they use. Oh, I love that. That is such a... It's a unique texture because it's it's crunchy. Mm -hmm. These really thin, like shards of chocolate almost. Mm -hmm. But it's really nice. I don't get any, I haven't got any cookie dough. Oh, oh wait. This one. Oh, you're gonna give it to me? No. No, there you have that. Oh, one. okay, you take that That's one okay. then. I'm okay, I'll find another one. Because I didn't even see that. Literally, when you're having to search for the cookie dough, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. When it's called chocolate chip cookie dough, you shouldn't have to search for the cookie dough. No, it should be. And what's sad is, or what's unusual, is everything else that we've had from them mm -hmm. has had tons of stuff in it. This it's very unusual. Yeah, this one's been kind of lacking. Yeah, did you find you one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm afraid to eat that one. Then we won't have one for the picture. Because I would. No, we might not have another one. I'm sure there's other ones in here. I mean, literally, it's shocking that this is lacking so much. Especially um, when they call it cookie dough. Yeah, this should be full of cookie yeah, dough. You found another yeah, one? Yeah, go ahead. Honestly, it's, with it only having a few here and there, so you only get one in each bite, or one in a bite here and there, mm -hmm. it doesn't really add much to it. Mm. I mean, if you get the actual piece of cookie dough, it's got that little bit of a sugary, gritty texture, but that's all you get from it. And it's only, it's so little bit of it that you really don't get a lot of it. I love the texture of it. Yeah. It's very, very uh, dense, but mm -hmm. it, it does have that gritty sugar mm -hmm. Which classic. is what you want with cookie dough. Right. But um, it should have like five times more. I mean, there's hardly any in here. Yeah, well that's part of your name. You would be very, very disappointed if you got a pint like this. I'm very disappointed in this because we um, we've had um, tons of uh, chocolate chip cookie dough and it there's, there's a, um, a good amount in there. I don't think I've ever had this one, even a store brand. I don't think I've ever had one that has this little, this few. Unless um, it's a store brand, like a cheap store brand. I still, they still have more cookie dough than That's this. That's true. This, there's hardly anything in it. It's ridiculous. You ever made that batch? Yeah, and I, I can't say that this is going to happen to you because. Yeah, you um, whoever makes your batch might put. Exactly. What should be in there. But whoever put this, whoever filled up this pint did not pay attention to what they were putting in there. Yeah. I love the chocolate. It's very good ice cream. Mm -hmm. It's just not, you're not getting what you're paying for. You're not getting, no, exactly. So, love the chocolate, love the chocolate pieces. Mm -hmm. I do love the cookie dough when you get it. It would be awesome if they had had more in there. But they really, really need to pay attention. The person filling these really it's not needs... the person filling, it's the person that actually made the ice cream. Didn't put enough in there. Yeah, yeah. It's just a not, a, it's not enough. Yeah, yeah, you're saying that... The, when it got churned, mm -hmm. they just didn't put enough in there. Yeah, it's because it's this is ridiculous. This but, should not have happened. But the other one's full of fudge. I mean, the the hot fudge, like mm -hmm. sauce. It's full of it. I mean, it's tons of it in there. Right. And the, the little chocolate shards are in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, so I love the flavor. If, if, if it was going to have more in it, I would get that again. Um, if I, if I knew, if I was certain that it was going to have cookie dough pieces, or if the it, way it is now, I would not get Or if it, it was called chocolate chocolate chip, then exactly. that's what I would expect. A, right. a, that's what I would expect a chocolate chocolate chip to be like. Right. Exactly. But this was not called that. This is literally chocolate chip cookie dough. So, um, anyway, I know a lot of you have told me, which I've been surprised that, oh, I've been eating Andy's for years. I've had Andy's. Um, they just got one, well, we don't know how long they've been there, but they haven't been there that long. No, they have not been, I don't think they've been in Lexington uh, long at all. And there's two locations we were like, wow, and okay. Yeah, <laughs> you know how you'll be driving down the road and these things just pop up overnight. That's the way it seems to us. Now, they might have been there for a year and we just don't yeah, drive because we don't there. drive by the, we don't drive, go down those roads very often. No. 
Um, but yeah, I think it's it's cool that a lot of you have told me that you've been eating it for years. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, that's really neat. And I like the texture of the custard. It's a little thicker than ice cream. It's like a, a, a thicker texture than ice cream is. It's mm -hmm. more like a, but it's soft, but it's thicker. But it's very delicious. Yeah, it's very yes. good, very creamy. It's very nice. Yeah, if you haven't tried it, then then I would definitely go and get some because yeah. it, it's nice. And they have seasonal flavors too. Well, if you like Culver's, Culver's yes. has custard. If you like that texture of mm -hmm. things, then then try this out. And they have a lot more flavors than like Culver's does. And they do a lot of the same thing that Culver's does as far as the mix-ins. Yeah. It's like with the M&Ms and stuff like right. that. You can do all those mix-ins. You just don't get them in these take-home pints. Right, you have to get them there. Right, but they do do all the mix-ins just like Culver's does. So, I will have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.